And a man that's born of God, is son of God, has to have the nature of God. He has to be like God. He honors God. He's part of the Word of God. In this last days when this bride's taking form, it's exactly the same power that he was in at the beginning. He's come up through these organizations and so forth and come out for the bride. He can't be nothing else but that. They ought to see them Jews in their days when they seen it manifested there before him as the prophet said he was. He said, search the scriptures. In them you think you have eternal life. They are they that testify of me. If I do not the works of my Father, don't believe me. But although you can't believe me, do not believe the works that I've done. They said, our fathers eat man in the wilderness for 40 years. We know where we're at. He said, and they're everyone dead. That's eternally separated. Everyone died. There's only three. Two come out of a million. Two million. That's one in a million. One of... Uh, an injection, the sperm from male and female. There's usually one egg fertile. There's one egg, one germ that's fertile. Have you ever seen hybriding in cattle? Notice, there's a, a million eggs. There's a million germs. And when they are discharged to come together to the womb, coming through the tube and into the womb, they meet. One of them is eggs, a million eggs, a million germs. There's only one egg in there fertile. There's only one germ fertile. They're all alive. You can watch them little calves beating around there. A speck that you can put on a mat stem. And Demas Lem's listening in the night, and he remembers when we took them. He took me down there and showed me how that worked. Test tubes. And put just enough that you can put on the end of a mat. There was thousands of little calves and bulls in there. But only one of them can live. Only one of them. And here's a big ball of them here. And you'll notice one will crawl out from among this one here, go right over the germ, come over here, and an egg will come out from among these other eggs over here, and they'll meet together, and the rest of them die. Yet they're alive. But they die. Because there's something, someone, made this one fertile and ordained this one too. It's predestination, my brother. Sir. God has to determine whether it's going to be boy or girl, redhead, blackhead, or whatever it is. It's determined by God. More mystery than a virgin birth to me. But Lord, it's the rest of them die. 